Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be taking a look at rivalries within the One Piece world. Rivalries are an informal competition between two or more parties competing for a similar objective. And they are great because they generally inspire those involved in them to perform better than they otherwise might have. And One Piece is full of those sorts of relationships, just waiting to have a spotlight shone on them. So with that in mind, let's begin. Welcome to the top 5 rivalries in One Piece. Number 5. Django and Full Body. These two antagonists turned best friends were a very unexpected combination in the series, having both united under the common flag of Hina. And this was love at first sight for both of our characters here who immediately pledged themselves to Hina after catching so much as a glimpse of her. And the result of this is now a friendly rivalry between Django and Full Body to win the heart of their superior officer, although Hina largely ignores the both of them. But that said, she is surprisingly tolerant of their antics and even allows them to dress in their own clothes, rather than the standard issue marine uniform. So hey, maybe there is some hope after all. But it must be stressed that this rivalry is a friendly one, as there does not appear to be any animosity held towards the other party for also being in love with Hina. In fact, given that Django and Full Body often express their love to Hina in the exact same way, it could be argued that the two conspire together to come up with new ways to woo their superior officer. And that fits the definition of a rivalry to the bill. Two parties with the same goal who serve to better the efforts of each other. Number 4. Zoro and Sanji in stark contrast to Django and Full Body, Zoro and Sanji heavily dislike each other. They don't have a common goal per se, it's more like they despise each other so much that they are in a constant struggle to make sure that they are just playing better than the other. This sort of contest can take just about any form, with the obvious being strength and speed, but mental tasks and physical appearances are also frequent sources of tension between the two. The intriguing thing is, it's not exactly clear how or why this rivalry began. Upon their meeting, the two characters must have just taken an instant dislike towards each other that carried over to their community journey aboard the Straw Hat ship. With all of this said deep down, and I mean very deep down, these two do indeed respect each other as crewmates and are quite willing to place trust in each other when the circumstances really call for it. But in general, these two will never really get along and will continue to bicker like brothers until the end of the series, making it one hell of an enduring rivalry. Number 3. Garp and Roger. Monkey D. Garp is a man who rose to the rank of Vice Admiral within the Marines and could have gone further, but chose not to. While Roger is the man who actually became the Pirate King. And throughout the prime of their careers, these two came into constant conflict, with Garp becoming known as the man who very nearly captured Roger on multiple occasions, although he was never truly able to seal the deal. And this rivalry primarily springs from opposing ideals. Roger lived to embody piracy, or Garp lived to maintain order. And so each party would have had to be become consistently stronger and smarter in order to keep up with and outdo the other. But just as in the case of Zoro and Sanji, these two did respect each other a hell of a lot. In fact, at the end of his life, Roger even entrusted Garp with the care of his son, and I mean who better to take care of your child than a man who has managed to keep up with you in every single way over the course of your entire career. Number 2. Roger and Whitebeard here we are nearing the apex of rivalry within the One Piece world. While it would seem that Whitebeard never had the dream of becoming the Pirate King, these two individuals were both pirates and thus competing in the same realm. Not a whole lot is known about the details of the conflicts that occurred between the two, but what we do know is that Whitebeard was the only man in the world capable of being Roger's equal, surpassing the strength of even Garp. With all of that said, Roger and Whitebeard's rivalry ended on friendly terms, with the two having a final drinking session where Roger even offered to reveal the location of Raftel the knowledge of which more than likely would have made Whitebeard into the next Pirate King. And later in life, Whitebeard would even take Roger's son Ace aboard his ship, bearing no ill will towards him, as they were all children of the sea. But as strong and as enduring as this rivalry was, there is still one greater in the series. Number 1. Dory and Broggy. As the co-captains of a fairly fearsome crew of giants back in the day, Dory and Broggy were also the best of friends. That is, until the two of them entered a contest of honor regarding who had managed to capture the bigger fish. This contest was started by a miscellaneous little girl who had curiously asked which one of them was bigger. 
And in this very moment, Dory and Brogy's lives as pirates ended, and a 100 year battle of honour began, as they were unable to settle the matter of whose fish was bigger. Therefore, in order to set things straight, a duel was required, which has never yielded a victor. Although both giants are always very enthusiastic about their next match, and have the drive to be better than they were in the previous bout. To top it all off, these giants are still both friends, and have actually long since forgotten exactly why they are fighting. However, this rivalry is so strong, that it manages to transcend mere reason. And that pretty much does it for the top five rivalries in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe, and please do comment with your own favorite rivalries. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.